All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Laura Canfield Show, the Awakened Happiness Now Global Series. Thank you so much for being here with us today. And like always, it is my desire, my wish, my intention to bring you resources, support, tools, techniques, processes, healing, uh, wisdom, etc. on these shows, on these calls to uh, raise your vibration, raise your frequency, uh, and assist you in thriving in your life, having your best life and thriving instead of just surviving. And, you know, all those places where you might have been feeling stuck, well, we hope to, you know, release some of that stuckness so that you can move, move forward in your life. So I'm fortunate to have some wonderful guests and speakers joining me every season. I'm, I'm so grateful. And um, thank you all of you for being here as well. So today, <clears throat> My good friend Sarah Messiah is back with us, and we are going to be talking about manifesting your best life. Are you manifesting your best life? So some of what we're going to talk about today includes, you know, gaining clarity on what it means to be manifesting your best life, uh, acquiring greater awareness on symbolic meanings of events, situations, and things. We're going to talk about and review old energies that may be holding us back from manifesting our best life, how living too much in our past, future, or what ought to be <laughs> can be disabling. We're going to learn more about that on the call, what our vision boards should hold, and much more. You'll also receive a short live meditation to assist you with manifesting the best life, plus an activation to aid uh, you to know that you're supported by Creator on your healing journey. So all that and more. And for those of you who don't know Sarah, she's been with us many, many times. We love having her come back on the show because she is just so uh, kind, uh, gentle, talented, um, has total integrity, works with spirit, works with creator. And um, she's a founding member of the Elohim High Council of Light, working closely with, closely with Melchizedek, Ascended Masters and Angels. Sarah is also an award-winning author whose book, The Cosmos, Ascension, and the Golden Keys from Melchizedek, won the Mind, Body, Spirit Book Award in the chattel category. And she's currently looking to publish book number two in the series. And Sarah recently won the South of England Prestige Award for Best Holistic Practice. So she is, she does so much work with us, with many of our clients, with myself. She has been so wonderful and generous uh, in the past couple of years, just, you know, whenever I've needed an extra boost or clarity or something, she's always been there. So we're always so happy to have Sarah on the show, talking about the Akashic Records, talking about her, her system, which is the Golden Key Energy Healing System, and just talking about all things in life that sometimes keep us stuck and, you know, not moving forward. So please join me in welcoming Sarah back to the show. Sarah, I'm so glad you're here. Welcome back. Hi, Alara. It's wonderful to be back again and to bring you this great topic about manifesting. I know we talk about this a lot uh, within the energy field, but I've channeled some lovely information from Three Macau's deck and Creator to bring to everyone here today. So I hope that everyone will find it useful. Um, and just, yeah, a remembrance of going back to some basics uh, as well. Um, Awesome. And and that's the thing. Sometimes we do need to review the basics or be reminded of the basics. But also sometimes we do need to have this conversation about what manifestation really is and how can we manifest, you know, whatever it is that we desire. Right. So that does not mean I always say this up front. That does not mean, <laughs> you know, like asking for a million dollars when you don't have a dollar in your bank account. It's like, that's not going to work. So be realistic. I always say, always be realistic, but also stretch yourself, you know, and really, for me, it's always about asking, what do you truly want in your heart? Right. And that's going to be different for every, every person. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Totally different. And, you know, going back to the basics, uh, Greater and Mikazadek gave me what would make you in this moment right now and I think that's where a lot of our vision boards which we'll be talking about and uh, manifesting um, sometimes we go a little bit off key because we're looking at future great big future events but I've been told by upstairs what we have to do is what would make us live our best life right now uh, right this second not 10 months down the line or um and so we need to go back to actually sitting with ourselves and tuning in 
putting our hands on our heart, closing our eyes and really getting into the energy of what we need right now. Um, yeah. So yeah. absolutely, because we're always taught to, you know, plan five years in the future. What do you want to create? What do you want to experience? Right. But if you're not happy right now, if you're not feeling joyful right now, if you're not feeling satisfied right now, that energy is gonna is is gonna carry forward in in the five year goal, right? So that energy of dissatisfaction or unease or whatever happens to be. So you're not really working with the best energy, are you? No, absolutely. And you know, we do still have to look at where we may be blocked in our manifesting. Um, and I've got I've channeled some great stuff which I'm gonna uh, share with you all today. Um, but we need to. Um, often also look for small symbolic signs that the universe is giving us which we can often overlook and you know we can work on the energy of why we're overlooking these signs as well we might miss an email that comes in um, a talk with a friend they may gift you some information and sometimes we let information that other people are bringing through just go over our head and think oh no that's not for me um, but actually, that could really be what we needed to hear right now. And when we mm -hmm. get in a state of I need this, I need this, um, we can often lose the messages from the universe uh, as well. So I don't know what you feel about that, Alara, but it's very easy to miss signs um, that we're being given when we're asking uh, for things. Absolutely. And the reason why we're missing those signs is because we're not being present in the, in the you know, like, and, and I think that's the uh problem with most things is that we're not present we're not, yeah. uh, somebody i was thinking about this yesterday about somebody <laughs> i'm not going to mention it but it's like people always ask why is this happening why is that happening you know um why isn't this happening etc but it all comes down to you know are you present enough to receive the signs and messages are you present enough and aware in the moment to see what's going on around you right or are you just in your head in your emotions, in your angst, in in whatever, which is fine. And there's no judgment there. We all go through those periods and those times, right? But Absolutely. the more that we can, oh, God, I have like dog hair somewhere. Oh, um, yeah. The the more that we can cultivate that that uh, it's not an idea, but it, it's a way of life of being more and more present. The more it that is. we will be able to grasp, like get the messages, get the, and and the messages don't come in a booming voice, like you said, it might be an email, it might be yeah. you know talking to a friend, they say, say something, you yeah, know. Exactly. So, yeah, you know, and and that's the thing. It's like we're not always. It doesn't mean always be an alert for looking for signs, but it is about being present. It is, and um, there are many things that can take us off, like um, not seeing those messages and what I got from upstairs is literally uh not being on the right track we may have had many past uh experiences lives experiences that's what I prefer to call it where we've not been on the right track so it's easy very easy to overlook and you know Crater and Mekazadek said really if we're looking at manifesting there are so many uh parts to manifesting that we can often overlook and the first one we really need to look at is literally, are we on the right track? Uh, can we feel inhibited? Do we feel inhibited about living our best life? Um, or have we been in the past steered in the wrong direction? Because, um, you know, sometimes we can go off on a tangent and think this is what I need. But mm -hmm. actually, if we can come back and really look at what we want, uh, we need to be on the right track. So. Uh, upstairs told me really some healing should begin with are you on the right track do you feel confident to make change is there anything inhibiting your manifesting um, journey and is there anything outside influence can often steer us in the wrong direction you hear oh you should be doing this you should be doing that but actually what we need to do is as you say come back to our center and think right now what would make me live a better and my best life what do I need um, and it might be something simple uh, because when I was why I'm writing about this manifesting is I don't know if anyone knows or some people do that are on the call I know uh, but I'm caring for my mum so I need time to devote to my business um, and you know uh, it's hard to juggle sometimes uh, everything so 
upstairs said to me, you're not manifesting properly. You need to manifest what you need for your best life right now. And so that's why I started doing some channeling on this and I brought it to the show. Because what I actually need did for my best life right now is to get someone to help me with the housework and that type of thing yeah. so that I can concentrate in a greater way on writing finishing my next book and writing another book which I've got on the go which is actually about manifesting so you know we have to look at what is it in our life right now that would make us live our best life so we can Absolutely. feel accomplished happy and joyful and it's it's a question that you need to ask yourself but not at the mental level you have to ask at your heart and soul level now I know some people might be wondering well, I don't know if I'm on the right track. How do I know if I'm on the right track? What is the right track? Absolutely. But here is where you need to sit and actually sit with yourself. And it takes great introspection. Um, but we're not talking about what would make you live your best life in uh, a few weeks time about a new job. We're talking about right now, what would make you feel happier? Would it be more time for yourself so that you can... Um, see your friends more time to look for another job even it, it you know it's about what you need right now and uh to concentrate on on that being manifested yeah but, and, yeah you know and, and and you know like you, you might not even think of it as a manifestation but it, it is more about like what do you require right now so I earlier today I was like working a lot like you wouldn't believe like oh my god and then finally at one point it's like all right <sighs> I need a break. But even that yeah. break, you know, regardless of how much more work I have to do, my body, my mind needed that break. So again, that's about what do I require right now to have my best life? So I have to have my best life right now in this moment, I needed to take a break. Yeah. And it right? might be, yeah, having little breaks, but sometimes we need to be reminded of it so that's what uh creator's talking about that's what the middle of our vision board should look like what do we need right now to live our best life that's yeah. where our centerpiece of our vision board should be and when we pass it we should give thanks for that um so i'm just gonna invite everyone who's here right now to write in the chat just you know focus on your heart space take a deep breath and, and ask yourself what do i require right now to live my best life right now not five years from now not when i have a million dollars right now yeah. <laughs> right absolutely right now absolutely what, yeah. what would be helpful for you right now to have uh have your best life to experience that feeling of having your best life yeah. right um and so, and that's something important that we need to ask ourselves on a regular basis. We don't, we get, we, we get caught up in our drama. We get caught up in our stories. We get caught up in what's going on in the world, et cetera. Right. And we don't give ourselves that opportunity or that gift of asking ourselves what would make us, you know, have our best life right now. Yeah. And, and so if it, it is ahead. like, yeah, having a bit more time to uh, feel joyful, then putting little things about a uh, little vision board about sitting in nature a lovely beautiful space with a bench or you know a seascape where it give thanks every time you pass it for that that little thing because that would help you uh, if you're acknowledging that to have more time for you which yeah. is I think what many of us feel that we do we we lack so it's about putting that in the vision board in the center of it and concentrating on the small things day to day that would make your you live the best life right now. And I, I love how people are writing in the chat a vacation. Absolutely. I totally I mean, I, I guess I had one in October, but mm, not really uh, having a peaceful, yeah. joyful life, sitting in the sun, finding time to relax. Right. Um, yeah. More time in nature, laughter and sitting outside in the sun. You know, like these are simple things that we can incorporate into our lives more and more right absolutely. if we focus on it if yeah. we make it a priority right absolutely and that's why we need to keep visualizing it in our minds we need to draw you know have our little pictures it could be sitting in a lovely deck chair you know enjoying the view somewhere it's what what would work for you um yeah it could be a, a, a holiday scene um you know and we don't know what uh the universe will gift us but normally we're gifted some you know if we keep concentrating giving thanks 
you cannot uh, understand the power of the mind and the energy that you put up giving thanks for something that you want to create a it really opens the floodgates but they say absolutely. to me you absolutely start small and when you're manifesting absolutely start from best life best life and they keep yeah. coming back to that yeah and absolutely no judgment so even if you're not doing that thing that you you know would would, would make it your best life don't judge yourself for it it's like, it's okay right it's like okay i know what would make me feel better right now would be like sitting in the sun going for a walk you know etc but I, I know i didn't do it today because it was cold and windy and I was too busy I'm not judging myself about it it's like okay tomorrow if the weather's better I'm definitely going to take some time to do that but if I can't even go for a walk I'm going to at least stand outside in the sun for five minutes absolutely right? so absolutely. no judgment yeah absolutely right Linda no judgment at you know at, at all and also create a um because like I said even by just looking at if you do a vision board looking at the picture there of the seascape or or the deck chair scene it brings something to your heart it gives you a break and um, releases endorphins to make you feel great so that yeah. really can help um you know you know I, I remember on one of my uh vision boards in the center was a sun because I love the Lovely. sun so much that was what was in the center of my vision board was the sun <laughs> yeah it, it really does make a difference for me you know it's like it it it, autom it like automatically like heals everything and just like I feel so much better and I feel like I could breathe I have more energy I just talking about it also does the same thing for me. absolutely absolutely so it's that it, and as we talk about we smile and we're laughing and it's releasing endorphins and that's really the energy behind manifesting that we want to get to uh, because if you're manifesting from a place of woe, for instance, mm -hmm. it's not going to work. Um, and people, oh, this manifesting doesn't work. But are you coming at it from the right with the right energy? And so Creator yeah. said, uh, uh, Mikazadek, the middle of your vision board has to be your best life right now to make your yeah. life easier. Um, so absolutely. You know, so, you know, no stress, no angst, no judgment, you know, just what makes you feel good, right? Makes you feel good and reminds you that you are important. Absolutely. For me, that that's important. It's like I put a lot of my energy out there to everybody, of, you know, the community, the show, like, you know, you know, you name yeah. it, my husband, the boys, you name it. And I don't put as much energy back on me, right? So the, the vision board, when you're asking yourself, okay, you know, yes yeah. <laughs> I want to manifest my best life what does that feel like yes yeah. absolutely being in the sun sitting in the sun having that, that that those five minutes of just being and resting and you know stillness um yeah. you know it, right? we, we could go back to smaller things for instance a uh, couple of times a week uh, I know I have a dog but getting someone to walk the dog if you know because sometimes we have to fit this into our busy day so on the vision board it could be just simple uh, someone yeah. helping with the dog even once a week to walk it so you walk the the the, the dog so you don't have to because I know walking the my dog takes a lot of time like he has to be out for a good hour or he's very naughty so um yeah <laughs> it's it's small things we have to break it down to what small things we'd like to do and that should be the center of of our balls and really. that and that will also make it more manageable and you'll start to see that you're actually manifesting that you're actually yeah. giving yourself that if you start with something small and manageable and practical right yeah absolutely um, and it's the energy of it for sure yeah yeah and you know uh when you're manifesting also if you say uh for me, I, I've recently been manifesting a new someone to help clean. So I've got more because I have to get mum up and I'm trying to write and et cetera, et cetera. Um, but yeah, creator said also you have to cross the T's. You want someone that's meticulous, trustworthy. So you've got to when you pass your vision board and you're giving thanks, you need to add a few details. Thanks for this person that's coming into my life who takes great care of all my things is sociable um honest etc so you you're really putting your attention into that that would make your life better um if it's a person mm -hmm. that if it's a a place to go look at the place make it doable for you as well um you know 
I think we'd all love to go to the Caribbean, but if you haven't, and you know you haven't got the funds for that, it might be a short break locally, even if it's camping, you know, um, it's something that's manageable, but would bring you great joy in this moment of now, yeah. help you live yeah. your best life. And we have to remember that there really is no future or past, there's only the now. So if you can have that, that feeling, that energy of I'm living my best life now, that's going to continue moving forward because, you know, we do think linearly here, right? That Absolutely. is going to continue moving forward if you can feel it in the present. So if you can start to feel it in the present moment right now, that that feeling is going to continue to move forward with you as you move forward, if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, absolutely. Time is just funny that way. Yeah, right? yeah. and we do get caught up in time, don't we? Uh, you know, um, I've, I've written uh, about, uh, I've channeled some stuff about past, present, present or what ought to be um but part of that was talking about you know societal pressures I, I wrote down about relationships people say you ought to be doing this by this age you ought to yeah. have this you ought to be there but this is all societal stuff this is not what we really ought to be or any of us ought to be we, yeah. we you know we need to be present now and think about on our hand on our heart what's our best life yeah, like. I, I I will say this on almost every call that I do. It's like there are no shoulda, woulda, couldas. There's absolutely no shoulds. There's no. only what you feel like in the moment, what you want, what you feel, what works for you. You know, you are the center of your universe. Get that, you know? So yeah. it's like, and that's okay. That's not being, uh, I don't know what the word is now at the moment, but, you know, it's like own it. Own that you are the center of your universe and that, yes, you can uh, feel good in the moment you can manifest your best life in this moment and each moment is going to be like that so each moment if you can you know every day if you can just say to yourself I guess you know um, today I'm manifesting my best life like wake yeah. up in the morning and say today I'm manifesting my best life and then yeah. feel that right absolutely. absolutely but we put conditions on it we put expectations on it yeah. on what that should be absolutely and you know a lot of us are stuck in the past and I have channeled a little bit about being stuck in the past which I can read out just so you know what creator and upstairs told me so um basically being too caught up in the past or future or what ought to be can be disabling and this is what I've been given when manifesting it's actually disabling us to get to that place so uh, we discuss here being too caught up in our past. We include not only this lifetime, but many, many others. We are not discussing the trauma you have faced, for that's another topic. To heal trauma is paramount. We acknowledge this takes great introspection and the releasing of energy behind trauma so one can move forward, living in greater and greater carefree ways. Here we are discussing the saddling on, of blame on our past as to why there is no movement forward. We talk here about being locked into our past and saddling blame on it. Um, and we need to change our mindset about saddling blame on our pasts. All this on the all those on the healing journey um, may wish to look at this and explore this topic in greater depth. And this is huge as it's a huge weight that once released aids you to manifest your best life. There are many scenarios we could discuss, but let's take, for instance, um, you know, being bullied at school. It would affect an individual in differing ways, dependent on many other factors. Yet in this scenario, we see lack of confidence being the major outcome. And we often can go back and saddle blame on this event. We can saddle blame on many events. But where does it get us but caught up in that event? We highlight this scenario as there is much manifesting, uh, that much to manifesting that needs to be understood. Saddling blame holds a resonance that blocks our manifesting ability. And so we ask all those ready to deeply introspect, what do you saddle blame on? Saddling blame is one energy behind why things do not materialize. Saddling blame causes greater blockages than you realize. It interferes with the neural pathways, blocking us feeling abundance and carefree. We have thought, um, oh, if this hadn't happened or that hadn't happened, like you said, Alaria, it would be this or that way. This is a major pay player in being blocked on the manifesting journey, catching us in the past. So, yeah, um, I think we all need to take a look at what we're saddling blame on you know, our 
from our past and uh, it's a huge topic I know but it's one well worth looking at I think and and sometimes people might not be consciously aware that they're blaming their their certain situations or certain events or whatever consciously but unconsciously and at the energetic level you may still be holding blame in yeah. yourselves even right mm-hmm. so and I think the Pacific you know because blames there's so many areas of blame which but I think we really need to if those that can muscle test or or use ways of of seeing if they're still holding the energy I think creator was very clear on it's the saddling of blame which is it has an energetic resonance all of its own so um so we don't want to just check for blame we need to check for are we saddling blame on what, what, what do you mean past. what do you mean by that settling what do you mean settling for blame what do you mean what do you mean uh, maybe I'm confused blame it's like well no we blames blame but I think saddling of blame is putting a huge emphasis so we saddle it on one event that would have taken us in the wrong direction so uh-huh. I think it's looking at, at this um energy of yeah events that take us in the wrong direction and they're saying it's called the saddling of blame and that's you know we need to look at not just blame as a huge topic yeah. but yeah. the saddling of it because there's many if you look at blame there'll be lots of shoots off of blame and one of the shoots would be the saddling of blame on our past experiences why we're not where we want to be yeah 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 I get that, yeah, that so if, if I were if I were to say oh it's because of my relationship with my first husband that's yeah. why nothing in my life has ever worked out yeah that would be the saddling of blame yeah. uh, which is not and, true <laughs> but yeah no, no. I, can, I can definitely see that yeah mm-hmm. but what if we looked at past experience if we look at lives we may have walked through um or even multi-dimensional lives if you you know if we're living in another place time and space living now um it could be that we're running that saddling of blame which is really blocking our neural pathways here that stop us manifesting yeah so I just want to ask any everybody right now because I find for myself it's it's important to ask the question okay where am I what situation am I blaming for the outcome of my life just and just see what comes up there might be something that comes up from this lifetime it might be from a past lifetime uh, but just see what comes up ask yourself the question you know not from your mind but just you know putting your hand on your heart and ask that question expand out and ask the question it's just to see if there's something that you're holding on to right some situation some story some experience right we've all had many uh Absolutely. not so nice experiences right yeah. and again there's no judgment but it's just getting that clarity right uh of perhaps this is the reason one of the reasons why I'm not manifesting blah 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 right yeah yeah so being caught too caught up in our past saddling blame on things really is a, a block yeah um, yeah 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 absolutely and then once you once you get clarity on that then then you can work on clearing it releasing it healing it is more of the better word right yeah, so yeah, having that yeah. awareness yeah love it yeah. good awesome absolutely. yeah it's something I think it's something for us to look at for sure yeah um yeah. wow uh, I forgot to mention at the beginning Sarah I'm so sorry but uh, we've we are going to take live call questions so if you do have a question for Sarah um you can raise your hand or you can type your question in the chat just know that Sarah is not in anybody's records so she's not going to be able to go into your record per se but she's very intuitive so um yeah. you know she might be ha- be able to give you some intuitive guidance information etc yeah or, or or if you have questions about manifestation manifesting your best life yeah absolutely um the other topic I was going to talk we've you've talked a little bit on it but being too caught up in what may be future uh that's another block for us to manifest obviously our dreams uh the life of our dreams it takes us out the moment now but it's full it can be full of woe because if you believe you need something you're not present as you said in this moment uh so we want to try and get out of what you need and that's where the looking at your best life again comes pulls you back into living your best life um and isn't it also like what what where you're coming from like for example if somebody wants to you know buy a house you know move house for example but they're coming from a place of lack and scarcity and fear 
Yeah. Instead of, oh, you know, it would be wonderful and great to have to have a house in this location or move to this place that I think that'll be fun and expansive, et cetera. Right. Instead of fear and lack and scarcity and just that, I think, too, makes a big difference. No, absolutely. Absolutely. You have to do it from a place where you're not in fear or lack or woe. And, you know, we to get also caught up in our circumstance. I can't afford that. It's a common um thing that we all utter at times I can't I can't do that that's also taking us out of what's you know what the universe could bring to us um so the best if you're looking to to do your vision board about moving house it would be not concentrating on the you know this area I must go here it would be putting on your vision board the best place the best house that would make help you live your best life and it isn't about that it might be about the trees that are around the community spirit so you'd be putting that in your vision board like lots of friendly people in your vision thank you for the community spirit of the place I'm moving to you know so it's concentrating yeah. on all those type of positive aspects rather than uh I must move to this place because that is definitely the best place the universe always knows as well where the best place is and we can often go to a house and think that's it but actually it might fall through and we don't end up getting it and then we find that the universe provides us with a much nicer place than where we become located so it's about trusting as well um that you're going to be supported by a creator which is a another huge topic that one might yeah. need to look at absolutely and you know and and that's uh you know when 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 i'm thinking about for example moving back home to canada i'm not thinking about like where i'm going to stay or i'm thinking more about the family you know because it's like you know i get to be with my kids again i get to be with my parents i get to be with my siblings you know i get to yeah. see my friends again you know so that energy of community that energy yeah. of support that energy of family so it doesn't really matter where per se but it's, it's it's that connection that I was missing here right so I was missing that connection yeah. and I and going back in October I, I really felt it's like oh my goodness yes I need my family but it wasn't yeah. it's not it's not a need per se but it's a more expansiveness I could breathe you know I I, I have the support that you know yeah. allows me to flourish better you know so so Absolutely. really looking at the wording and the feeling that you're putting into your manifestations for what you're desiring is important absolutely definitely definitely don't get you know caught up in um and also if that's you know if you can't move and you're you're here you have to look at what would make you live live your best life right here isn't it now mm -hmm. so it would be putting on your vision board for instance friends that come in that help you feel like you're supported and flourishing it would be about making new contacts if if you can't move so it's about what you can do right now to ha right. make you feel that safe energy here so it might be your vision board should be concentrating on uh feeling safe feeling supported so that's where um yeah that's I'd true concentrating on on my vision board if yeah. it's possible to, to to go back there yeah yeah good point um yeah. so I know people are writing stuff in the chat and I I <laughs> you guys have to be a bit more specific you can't just say you know what's the biggest block holding me back well <laughs> we have a lot we don't have just one right yeah. so be a little bit more specific with your questions um she's not psychic as if she's intuitive she's not i don't know you could be psychic sarah i don't know but but the, but the point is like you know be more specific with your question please if you can um yeah. It'll help you, you know, to to get a, a better answer that you're looking well, for. Well, I, I do channel clarity. with Lord Macalzadek, so I can always get his the perspective from the, our higher beings that I'm I'm and creator that I'm working with. So I can always ask, but obviously, with the biggest block, we clear one biggest block, and then we're if we're on this healing journey, we're often presented with another issue that comes up because you know. Um, it's like the bag of onions I'm sure most listeners here are aware that we kill we heal ourselves of one layer but there's other layers it's like peeling of an onion many layers yeah exactly heal ourselves yeah yeah and you know and that's not a bad thing right but there's not just one thing that is going to suddenly make your life all better there's not just no. one thing okay you have to get that there's not one quick fix there's not there one silver it. bullet there's not one magic pill 
There's but, that. <laughs> but you have to, you know, you have to really work on yourself. But this is where I keep going back to the vision board. This call, Alara, but that's where creating because the vision board is highly important uh, to help aid us while we're still healing ourselves to look at what we want right now yeah. you know and thanks is such a massive vibration that we can't even you know I know that many people here would have heard of the experiments of the plants for instance when you shout negatively at a plant and mm -hmm. the plant wilts and dies and even Ikea had recently done a um, experiment with plants and school children um, I read about uh, so you know and that the, it absolutely the plant wilts and dies so your thoughts your feelings your words your what you're putting into something can't be underestimated so while we're healing ourselves we also need to not for, you know not forget this aspect of manifesting so the the two go hand in hand yeah really and i i think you know for me you know yes gratitude but gratitude the energy of gratitude has been so muddled up and so used you know so much in this industry for me the appreciation and, and acknowledgement feels stronger right yeah. uh a, a thanks for sure absolutely but appreciating you know what is showing up in your life what you know all all the good stuff anyways you know what is already making your life the best life yeah. I mean, because I, I have to say like you know my life right now is so much better than it was you know like 12 15 years ago okay so it's like it is better right is it yeah. the best uh it's pretty good I can't complain you know well, it's been yeah, challenging yeah. but it's pretty good right yeah so um appreciating that and be being grateful but appreciating and acknowledging all Absolutely. the good stuff in your life right yeah is yeah. key it's key it's so not, for me it's not just gratitude it's also the appreciation and acknowledgement there are three different energies but I think for me anyways um all three are important not Absolutely. just gratitude because yeah. you know yeah. yeah but that's me um yeah. no I agree <laughs> with you I agree with you um but the like having your vision of the best life right now is also a very important thing to focus your attention on every time you pass it um not the great big things as we a lot of people yeah. think manifesting oh I want to manifest a huge new car or this we're talking about what would help your life to be better right now on yeah. today and every day so it might your vision board might change uh you know for sure uh, it has to you know it, it, it yeah. will change yeah absolutely yeah. Yeah. And you know, a lot, a lot of people they they want to um, manifest their soulmate or their twin flame, any of that yeah. kind of stuff, you know. Um, <laughs> and I'm like, be careful what you ask for, right? Really, be clear about what you ask for. You want, yes, you want a soulmate, but you want a soulmate that is going to support you, empower you, make you feel good, you know, yeah. give, you know, add to your life, you know. Um, so it's not just, oh, I, I want to manifest a soulmate. Mm. Gold, and the soulmate thing also, have clarity. yeah yeah the soulmate uh but that's where societal pressure comes in as well because we're all conditioned to think we have to have this sometimes we might be at for a few years best finding ourselves becoming yeah. more independent learning new skills doing things that when you're in a partnership that might not happen so is yeah. that's why you have to sit with yourself and deep for sure would this be my best life or am I listening to outside influences so that's why you have to go into your heart when when you're thinking about what your best life looks like yeah I and, agree and you know when it comes to the soulmate you be your soulmate first you be your precisely. soulmate first you know yeah. and then and then the the external soulmate will will show up eventually but you be your soulmate first you know yeah love yourself yeah. accept yourself Stop yeah. judging yourself right yeah. um which is hard but <laughs> well it is hard because we're all human aren't we but <laughs> yeah it's a, yeah it is really about that so uh that time right, you want to take some questions yes, I'm a, yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm like worried about the kind of questions that are going to come up that's oh, all right I'm not I'm glad I'm not the one answering so <laughs> <laughs> ask away I'll do my best well you're not you're nicer than me so um <laughs> me and be like no you can't ask that question you have to ask something else no 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 
<laughs> All right. Uh, so Linda has a question. I don't know if it's about her granddaughter or not, but uh, go ahead, Linda. Oh, no. Well, first of all, the granddaughter, I don't have any resolution on that yet. And I'm still putting out a lot of prayers because okay. she, they're due to leave in two hours. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So she's cutting it to the wire really bad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So in reference to what you were deciding, just describing before, um, there was a book one time, uh, maybe 12, 15 years ago, it was called The One Command. Mm -hmm. And I always thought, you know, that was like the perfect answer because it doesn't tell you how to do anything. It allows whatever happens to happen and you have the vision of it and you go into theta and things come in. Well, yeah. one fire thing it has not done for me. <laughs> You knew that was a caveat, honey. Anyway, yeah. um, I, just I was going to gonna say, well, obviously it hasn't worked ex exactly. Yes, cause... exactly. <laughs> so, okay, so my question to Sarah is, um, what's blocking me from realizing my guidance from my guides? Okay. Oh, don't yell. <laughs> I can just see you. I'm shaking my head, but it's okay. I That's know. why I say I'm glad I'm not the one answering the questions. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> you know what I would say. Uh, well, the first thing I'm getting and uh, is to, uh, this is what I'm being given. So I'm just going to say it. Is okay. to get out of the way of yourself. I think, um, <laughs> hold on. You're probably right. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Busy, 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 busy is what I'm being given. And it's to get out of the way of uh, yourself. Mm. Time to sit and contemplate uh, is what I'm being told. Uh, I have something to add. Doing something, mm -hmm. some uh, issues on busy, 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 which keep I keep getting. But it's about getting out the way of yourself. Um, She's very busy. I am. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. So that if that that is the first block I, I've got. It and it's definitely um you it might be you might be running. I um I'm in the way of myself and it probably comes from a past experience. Um mm -hmm. and it's a multi-dimensional kind of experience. It's not I don't think it's an earthbound one, if you're asking me. Oh. Can yeah. I add yeah. something? I have to add something. Go ahead. Yeah. Can, wait, can I? I just want to ask Sarah one more thing, honey. Okay, so what do you mean by multidimensional? Uh, if you so could it add... would be from this uh, we lifetime? Are now, yeah, it would be okay. from another. If, you're, if you can accept that we're not just on earth, that we are a multi-dimensional right. being, that we would have had other lives on other realms of existence. For instance, we talk about the Pleiades, et cetera, et cetera. So it, I'm not saying it's a Palladian life, but I'm saying if you can accept that you're a multi-dimensional being of light, this uh, being in the way of yourself is not from this time, place or space. Okay, thank you. But, but you could work on it here um, also um, and maybe make some notes of where you feel you, you get in the way of yourself because um, it's like uh, I'm getting that talking, your, talking yourself out of things. I don't know if that's something you do. <laughs> yes. Right. That's what they mean by getting in the way of yourself. Okay, thank you. All right, right. Laura. So, so Linda, I know in the past you have channeled poetry, right? Yes. Oh, so when I'm in a quiet place, I can do that. So, so even with talking to your guides, you need some quiet time. You need okay. time to, to, to nurture that relationship or that connection and get that information from them. Right. So um, for me, what, what I was getting is like, you know, because you already have that experience of channeling poetry channeling or getting guidance you know from your guide is going to be easy because all you have to do is sit down get a notebook get a pen take some time and ask ask okay. your guides what and start off with just what information do you want to share with me today don't ask the big questions just what information do you want to share with me today okay 
Yeah, because you you already have um, you already have that. Yeah, yeah you okay. already have not just the ability, but that that channel is open, right? Of, of that guidance coming through. Well, I just wondered if it was blocked, honey. No, why yeah. would it be blocked? Why would it be blocked? I don't know. It's not blocked, but you <laughs> you get in the way of yourself. So you you're blocking yourself. it. You talk yeah, yourself know, out of things, uh, talking yourself out of it. You get in the way of yourself. Uh, but it's a gift. You're, you've got uh, a gift. And uh, it's uh, the expression of the gift that obviously needs a bit of work on. But just make a note of uh, getting out the way of yourself. Um, and just start with five minutes. That, that's okay. it. I'm sure you can find five minutes. I know we're all busy and sometimes even finding five minutes is like, but five minutes, a couple of times a week, not even every day. Okay. Right. Yeah. And just start with that and see, just see what happens. Okay. Thank you okay. both. You're so sweet. <laughs> oh, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you, Linda. That's all right. That's all right. And that, 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 um, that information about writing every, you know, five minutes as for everybody, we can all do it. We all have the ability. It's, a, it's not, it's not just special people. We are all special. We all have those abilities to talk to our guides, talk to our higher self, talk to a spirit creator. We can all do it. If you take the time, <clears throat> like I said, five well, minutes to start. We're all one, aren't we? But yes. We forgot. We were all kind of angelic, but we forgot who we truly were. So that's absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> one second. We're gonna. I'm gonna go to uh, Nyla. Nyla. <laughs> so this is one of the general questions. So I don't know. Why. Right. You, you might get something. You might not. Yeah. Um, what hidden experiences or beliefs are holding me back the most? That's really general. Uh, well, the first thing I'm getting uh, coming up uh, is thoughts. So I'm just making a note, thoughts. Um, that is the biggest thing that uh, is holding, um, I'm getting Nyla back at the moment, is thoughts. Um, and it's, uh, the word I'm getting is kind of wild thoughts that are running uh running wild thoughts um and it's kind of being stuck in calamity i don't know if that makes sense but it's the running of wild thoughts i'm gonna say calamity is like chaos yeah it's that type of energy but it's the running of wild thoughts that is the biggest block at the moment um that are running yeah. kind of feel like a bit stuck so, so how does that how does that resonate with you Nyla let us know in the chat if you can uh, yeah yeah I oh. don't dwell too much on calamity I mean I follow what's happening and a lot of it is very dark but I try not to get entrenched in it <laughs> yeah but I do have a lot of thoughts <laughs> uh, well it, it's the wild thoughts uh is the biggest block at the moment mm -hmm. so it, it's trying to tame this is the words i'm being given the wild thoughts and so every time you have a wild thought you need to kind of try to cancel it uh, and bring back a beautiful thought is what i'm getting this is what they're giving me for you today so that's what i'm imparting to you so it's like yeah trying to calm and tame the wild thoughts and bringing back uh peaceful serenic type thoughts to your mind yeah, I do meditate, um, but I, I, I've been thinking recently that there might be more of a need for spoken affirmations rather than yeah. just. I mean, I do tend to stay positive. I'm an optimist, but yeah. I'm 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 realizing that I've 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 recognized before in the past the power of spoken affirmations, and I think maybe I should get back to doing those. Absolutely, absolutely, and yeah. So yeah, the, spoke, I, I the spoken helps. word is very yeah. magical for sure. Just uh, be very out positive loud. about that. Out yeah, loud. Out loud yeah. for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. And yeah. I would say them three times, mm -hmm. each, uh, each affirmation three times. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Right. right. Okay. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Good. Awesome. Yes. Thank you, Nala. Thank you. Good. <laughs> you can't underestimate the power of three. I'm just going to add this as it is the 
energy the number of kind of creation i just have to say mm. there's a lot of power in that number three awesome mm. thank you sarah yeah because yeah, i always you... um do it in threes it's I, i've always done it that way but go ahead nella you're gonna say yeah, something? yeah yeah could you just tell me if i really have a need to go into therapy to unearth all the past experiences hidden in my dna and do i need to do that as far as you can see i don't i don't expect a definitive answer well we all have the ability to heal ourselves um basically working on ourselves from old energies that follow us mm -hmm. can never be a harmful thing uh mm -hmm. no one can tell you what, what you should or shouldn't do as a human i that's not right. um no one should tell you it's oh i realize you, that yeah yeah but it's what you feel within your heart it, um and there are things if you don't want someone else to be like the channel for the healing there are courses things you could do to actually aid yourself to heal yourself uh, if we all uh, of us on this journey we don't all have to be channeling this stuff or be like this massive healing but we can all heal ourselves and it's very easy to um find the right course for us um there might be many out there but it's just about you know finding uh the right one for you so you can work on yourself if you don't want to go into uh you know that type of thing but now uh, I do no. EFT, I do EFT, but there oh, might be wonderful. something a deeper hidden in my DNA that's that a, a real professional might have to help me access. Yeah. So well, um, I just had a session recently, Nala, with somebody and the information that came through was like, wow, I was not even, I had no idea, right? So it gave me so much more clarity and something to work with right to, right. to that's what I mean. clear this pattern that's so, what i mean yeah, yeah so some so sometimes you do need that and Absolutely. i i mean sarah is here on the call and we're going to talk about her packages later but she is somebody that i have gone to in the past for healing and finding out stuff that is stuck and has been stuck for a long time that I couldn't get through and I didn't know until she told me some stuff so right. yeah. yes absolutely but yeah. it's not a need you know um for me I gave it to myself as a birthday present is, is what I did it, <laughs> I was not a, in, a, in a need place but it's like you know what I want to do this for myself but so also, it's very helpful sometimes I mean I I'm still I've been healing doing my own healing obviously on myself for non-stop probably every day for four years and then it's lessened now at the moment so that's I'm doing about three four times a week. but I still go to uh, someone that you know I work with because sometimes we do need someone outside of ourselves yeah. to yeah talk to been, or go to yeah I've been looking yeah. for that yeah yeah so I mean like keep your mind open and just you know see if you resonate with Sarah with Sarah but there's you know lots of people on on the shows that you can work with but I I do recommend Sarah but I have worked with her so that, that's you know for me it's easier to recommend people especially if I've worked with them and I have worked with Sarah right. in the past so yeah. Okay, great. Um, yeah, it can it can help. Uh, it yeah. can definitely help. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Um. All right. We're gonna go to Sarah. And I know that she put a question in the chat, but I'm not gonna find it now, so it's okay. No, you don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to find it. I can say it. So my question is pretty much the question of uh, Nyla. I'm sorry if I'm getting your name wrong. Um. The same one is and and that revelation that alara had you know it's like is there something that if if i were to be aware of it or uncover it that it, i would go oh and just you know be able to work on it have a burst of energy burst of joy and i guess yeah. the second part would be uh is there any metaphor at the moment to my having to learn to walk again all right hmm. okay <laughs> That's quite a big, uh, uh, but let me just ask what I'm getting for you, Alu Elohim. Uh, the first thing I'm getting that you could, you could work on for your own self is uh, how wonderful you are. <laughs> <laughs> thank That's you they're telling me and um 
And also getting um, to work uh, on some sadness, whichever way you want to work through that. Um, so they're the starting points. Uh, but the first one really is how wonderful you are. Mm. And you have to keep seeing things in your mind's eye. Uh, they tell me, see the best result in your mind's eye. So it's, um, I they keep going back to how wonderful you are and that's where the work needs to begin. I don't know if that is helpful, but that's what I'm getting. Well, my reply to that would be that I have been blessed with so many gifts. Yeah. And um, I'm fun, I like to play, I like to play on the playground, the children's equipment. You know, I'm always trying yeah. to give whatever I can to anyone around me and I, do think well of myself. I think I'm probably doing the best that I can. And yeah. um, that really fills me with joy to hear yeah. that. And yeah. I, I do try to process my sorrow. I, I am working on all of that. I just thought there might be something new I hadn't looked at. And uh, yeah, I got hit by a car, so I'm in bed and trying to learn oh, to walk you. again. And, and uh, just thinking, uh, you know, this has got to be some metaphor. Um, for... uh, not always. Um, <laughs> it might be. Uh, uh, instead of it, could be an opportunity to. Um, what I'm trying to see see is, uh, it might be an opportunity to dig deeper, and uh, to remind yourself how wonderful you are. In what is it? Taking time to, you know they keep going back to how wonderful you are so i just have to say what i'm getting but it's really um very strong that's coming through and they really want you to uh, concentrate on basically all the gifts you do have um and yeah uh how wonderful you are is <laughs> the message sorry that's all i'm really getting so just focus on that and just get you know and 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 focus on your healing journey and just how wonderful you are don't worry about why did this happen why what's yeah. the meaning behind it because you see then you're going back to the past aren't you you're going back we talked about this going back to the past and uh you know saddled with blaming what just happened to me in the past. Saddled. Is... Okay, I finally got it. I was not I was misunderstanding you. Saddled with blame. Okay, yes, saddled. Yeah, I was yeah, hearing it's... something else. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Got oh, it. Oh, yeah. It's probably my English accent, but it's saddled with blame. So saddling blame on this is got why it. I can't do this and this. But we have to really start in the moment and now. And in this moment now they're telling me you need to hear and know how wonderful you are and that's the message I've been told that to give you is a heart filling message and it says a lot of things to me like whatever I can't do right now it's okay but I I did thank goodness I managed to transition from feeling like a victim to why have I brought this in? What am I learning from this? Who is my partner yeah. in this learning? What are they getting from it? So thank you yeah. so much. That was absolutely delightful. Thank you, Alara. Thank you. And and I'm just going to uh, uh, make a comment. Uh, There's no judgment at all. But why and not this is not just for you, Sarah, but why do people say, why did I bring this in? Yeah. Or why did I attract this or anything like that? I never say that. I never ask myself that question. It's not mm -hmm. about why. I, I just don't. I've never have. And I just don't. Because I, I feel like when I ask that question, I'm judging myself. I'm going to end yeah. up judging myself. Yeah. What I feel from this is this is a blessing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's completely clear to me yet. What is the blessing in this? That's better. I like that better. Yeah. This is going yeah. to. Uh, how is this going to help me grow, become more compassionate, become more loving, become more joyful, let go? I was just uh, going to we'll stop you for a second. Instead of just even saying, how is this going to show me how this is going to. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah. And this is for everybody. Um, it's not just for Sarah. I keep hmm. interrupting, but I have Sorry. no, no, I don't know. And I, I just think, um, look at it as the opportunity to uh, maybe d dig a bit deeper go a bit deeper um you know and um sometimes things that happen to us that change our life are actually life-changing not for uh 
from a bad way but so it makes us really grow as a soul um yeah 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 so there's nothing how, bad everything is helping us to grow and evolve yeah. and expand in consciousness and know who we are totally yeah. agree yeah thank you sarah <laughs> thank you for that sweet message thank you alara for calling on me oh and thank you so much everyone for having the patience with me when i say something like i hold on a second let's not let's not say that let's not it's like sometimes I'm like, hold on, hold on a sec. Let's, you know, change the talk. <laughs> yeah, let's change that a little bit. Okay. So, uh, Tanya, I'm going to get to you in one second. There was a question in the chat that I want. Oh, where did I lose it? There was a question in the chat from Angela. Angela, I know you're here somewhere. Oh, uh, Angela says, My soul has been telling me to leave behind what no longer serves me. There's a lot of stuff that doesn't serve us. So <laughs> now you're asking, what am I not seeing that is holding me back? Really vague questions, really yeah. general questions, really open-ended questions, I have to say. Um, I'll, I'll do my best. Oh, uh, uh, I'd be holding back if you want. Uh, it's kind of pointing the finger I, I'm getting and that's come through uh pointing the finger uh we're going back to blamey stuff I guess but uh <laughs> um and really coming back and sitting in where you are now rather than looking outside to everything else looking at you uh concentrating on you and I still get it's like I get a, a finger wagging. So I guess it's about pointing fingers and that's not serving if uh, that's the first thing that comes up. Um, I don't know so how does that resonate relates. with you? Let us know how that resonates with you, Angela. Please. And, you know, to be honest, we all do that. We all blame something someone somewhere at times right oh absolutely but I, and that's not it's normal I mean <laughs> yeah. sometimes in my moments of chaos uh you know I reacted very badly and I blamed somebody for like stupidest reason ever but you know it's like it came out because I was mm. like beyond stressed and beyond you know whatever so it happens right but so, so don't judge yourself for blaming beating yourself up about things yeah. it's about acknowledging it and moving on um, yeah. from it it's about because knowledge. sometimes you're just getting that awareness of oh I'm blaming a lot it's like okay yeah. then you can change it right then so you'll have more awareness just, of it you can change it yeah. but if you it's don't about... know that you're doing that then you know you can't change it right yeah absolutely um, all right so yeah oh Angela uh says I understand that walking away or moving on has been challenging yeah yeah it can be yeah. it can but be you know, for sure wait we're human beings having a spirit like we're, we're on a spiritual awakening having a spiritual experience but we are human and we are allowed to grieve we are allowed to feel emotions and we're not here healing yourself it's not about not feeling anything it's about feeling it acknowledging it and moving on um yeah that's and sometimes what is. sometimes walking away or moving on can be scary because it's going yeah, into the unknown absolutely. right yeah, so th of course absolutely uh it, it can be challenging so mm. I feel you yeah. yeah absolutely but then it's like you know I always when I have those types of situations I'm like okay I can either choose this or I can choose this you know yeah. it's like pain a versus pain b mm. <laughs> you know it's like pain a is this pain b is this which one do I want right mm -hmm. and a, a lot of times um the unknown is even though it's unknown it, it is not as challenging as what we have been experiencing already no okay. it's just uh, it's just we don't know but it's usually uh not as challenging as what we're experiencing in the moment right absolutely and you know it'd be about so, what do I need going back to the best life thing that we've been talking about in that scenario what do I need to make it my best life right now right now yeah. hand on heart what do I need and then small steps can happen to make that best life happen we don't have to be stuck in a situation that isn't serving us for our highest and best good we don't have to be in it yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So hopefully that helps, Angela. Uh, all right, we're going to go to Tanya. Tanya has a question. Hello, yeah. Sarah. Hello. Oh, Lara. hi. Hi. So I was a bit late, but I got in the, into conversation when you were talking about the moving the house, and I thought oh. I'm just in time. <laughs> oh, God bless you. <laughs> I need to move the house again, oh. and as I written in the messages that. In the last five years, I moved three times, and not only the house, three times, not only the house, but also the country. And the last time was so stressful for me because I had 10 years old child. My, my husband left for work and I had to gather everything that I needed to pack and yeah. sell, sell, sell things that I needed to sell. And I remember it was so stressful. And the only, I, I was working on myself, like imagining that I'm already in the future looking yeah. back at my experience and thinking oh why was I so stressed even <laughs> oh, and somehow I mean it it went I said to myself you will move it either you like it or not but you will move the house and move house anyway but yeah. now I I realize that I have this kind of reaction like almost like allergy to moving uh -huh. yeah. and I don't do as much as I need to do to search, to look, to, you know, to put the advertisements and stuff. And yeah. it's like, maybe subconsciously, I don't want to move anymore, but I have yeah. to. And right. for me now, because I have to move till the end of May. Right. Like I have like time, time kind, kind of uh, is pushing it's me. Yeah. I kind of, I'm in a wrong state of mind to to kind of do visualization and the, you know, believe that my house will come just like that. Yeah. So if, if you have any ideas like on, on timing and I understand the timing sometimes is like, maybe my house is not ready yet to, for yeah. me to be found, but it's a bit stressful. <laughs> oh, bless you. I'm not to stress about it, but it's yeah. creeping, you know, like subconsciously I understand that I am stressed a bit. Yeah, of course. And stressful uh, stress is definitely linked to moving. As we know, it's a really stressful event in all our lives. Um, let yeah. me ask upstairs. Moving is one of the, the most stressful events in a person's life. So it's totally normal that you're stressed out, Tanya. So don't beat yourself up for being stressed. And you're going to stay stressed until the actual moving day. But what can you do now to have more ease with it? Right. No, no. Why do people just automatically say that when you don't really believe that? Right. No. When people just automatically say, I, I should just meditate. Well, no, that does not always, it's no. not always a thing for um, everybody. I think uh, some of it's about the searching again, is what I'm getting uh, coming through. So uh, hold on. Uh, basically, at the moment, you feel blocked from searching, I'm uh, being told by upstairs. Um, and it's about... Uh, and it also about coming to terms with the facts, I think, is uh, coming up. So it's coming to terms with the facts and blocked searching. Um, so, hmm. I mean, you can't really visualize it because you're feeling really blocked in the search because it, it's all the upheaval again, I'm being told. But um, instead of that, what you need to concentrate on, I'm being given, is what they want you to do really is go directly to source to give thanks. Um, Keep going up to source to give thanks for the perfect um, opportunity to come along where you can live, where your life will flow. That's the, what I'm being told to give you that message. Uh, it's about your life being in a lovely flow rather than um, what I'm getting is stunted all the time. Result. I understand. Yeah. But they want you to go directly to source, creator, mm -hmm. whatever you like to call creator go directly uh to the source to ask 
get out of your head and go to source is what I'm being given for you. But it's about um, being blocked in even the searching at the moment. Um, and so if you were looking at affirmations like the other lady, it would be positive affirmations that I am safe to look um, for a beautiful new house where my life is in flow. In flow. Hmm. Yeah, because I feel a bit stuck because yeah. I can put on hold everything until I move the house and I shouldn't. I understand it. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. For that. So talk yes. to creator, right? So talking mm -hmm. to creator is not necessarily meditation, but it's talking to creator. Get a notebook, write down creator. This is what I want to ask you. You know, this is what I want to say. This is what I want to ask, etc. Right. So talk yeah. to creator and get that connection going. Yeah, that connects you go and thank you thank creator for your life being in flow again flow is a, flow. the right word yeah yeah good <laughs> thank you i like the word flow exactly i like thank the word flow me. yeah awesome. flow thank yeah you, thank, you right. thank, awesome. you. thank you a lot thank you awesome thank you thank you yeah. All right. Uh, there was a question in the chat from somebody. Um, Julie was asking because, <laughs> you know, we were talking about the word settling and saddling. Right. Yeah. And she was asking, what's the difference between settling and saddling? They seem to be the same to me. Um, uh, oh. Saddled to me is more forceful, more intense than settling. Yeah, um, settling, not settling. Saddling is like uh, completely uh, placing, if you like. When you get on a horse, you let's say you saddle the horse. So it's like that. You saddle everything on that event. Yeah, yeah. So you're putting all your energy, all your intensity on that event. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Totally. Instead yeah. of settling for an event, we are, you're putting all your energy into that event. That event is the thing that is the reason why nothing is happening in my life, etc. Yeah, you know, yeah, for, for example. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Thank you for asking that, Julie. <laughs> yeah. um, all right. So I know we're going to still do a, a meditation and activation um, in a little bit. But before that, um, Sarah, is it OK if we talk about the packages? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Very simple. <laughs> so let me yeah. just um, share my screen quickly. One second. I like to share my screen just so people can see what we're talking about. All right. So, um, so Sarah has two packages, package A and package B. So package A is a 90 minute personal session with Sarah and a bonus special live Zoom workshop. And package B is a 60-minute Akashic Soul Purpose session with Sarah and the bonus special live Zoom workshop. So we're going to talk first about the package A, which is the 90-minute session to aid you in manifesting and living your best life. Yep. So that's 90 minutes deeply within the Akashic Records. Some key energy. Um, I do speak light language in, in that session, and I do bring through uh, some key energy, but we can look at questions and we can heal some the most pressing issue, basically, that's holding you back from living your best life. As we know, there are layers like an onion, but we can definitely work on the one that's most pressing in this time of now um, is what we're concentrating on within that Akashic uh, mm -hmm. workshop. And there's um, a lot of healing that takes place in that as well. Yeah, yeah. And then there's the uh, bonus workshop on Zoom on April 26th, which is, what is it about, actually? It's a, it's a free workshop for all the listeners, Introduction to Healing Yourself Within the Acoustic Records. Yeah, it's an introduction That's to healing gift. yourself. Yeah, yeah, so, and we're also going to do some, well, we'll be doing a meditation in a minute, but we're going to do two meditations on that Zoom call. So it's quite a, a bonus. Um, so we're going to talk yeah. about healing ourselves. I think it's very important. We don't there's lots of uh workshops out there but we can heal ourselves we are a healer of ourselves and we've forgotten mm -hmm. so i think you know it's uh about remembrance uh that we can all access the cash we can do things to help ourselves um so that's what this uh whole workshop's kind of looking at we've got two free meditations and talking a bit about ascension as well and little bits and bobs for people's awesome. understanding 
Great. Now, yeah. So that's package A, and then two and three part payments are available. And then package B is a 60 minute Akashic Soul Purpose reading healing, as well as that bonus extra workshop on Zoom. Yeah, yeah. So that's the, in the cash. The first one, sorry, was the key healing. So we work directly with Source. Uh, basically, Kazadek brings the keys in. They're like the keys of creation. So they hold all the codes that um, of the energy of creation. So if we're creating something that isn't great, we can quickly uh, release it from all stories. So it works deeply in the Akashic records. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, to heal many stories. Say we're working on, um, I don't know, uh feeling like we're falling off course or something like that we'd kill right back from um the beginning that energy of falling off course or what what it whatever comes up in that session so uh we muscle test or tune in about whether at the end it's still running we make sure that whatever we're working on has got no uh resonance of the the old energy left and the creator brings in a beautiful new resonance that you can live your best life basically mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so. um so package b uh again there are two and three part payment plans available as well and uh, of course if you are an, in, an inner circle member please do take advantage of the 10 percent or 25 percent gift code depending on if you're in the free or a vip so both of these um, packages are available for you working with Sarah one-on-one, -on -one, uh, 90 minutes or 60 minutes, okay? So please do take advantage of those um, as well. So we are going to do a uh, do, 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 process, a meditation and an activation. Yep. Okay, cool. Awesome. Lovely. So if we're all ready, um, we'll begin. I'll do speak a bit of light language. And so just making sure everyone is relaxed with their eyes shut. Alleluia, Elohim. Ish, alleluia. And I want you to imagine now, sitting comfortably, a beautiful light coming down from Creator, alleluia. Down and down till it reaches the top of your head. And I want you to imagine now this beautiful light traveling down through your body, down and down until it reaches your feet. And I want you to imagine this light going down into new earth, bright earth, gold and platinum earth, Alleluia Elohim, anchoring you with protection and safety and taking a deep breath, just imagining this light traveling back up to your feet and taking this light up now through the body, Alleluia, up and up. Again, till it reaches your head. And we're going to shoot that light now up through the universe. Shalakai, Alleluia. Taking it up and up to a beautiful white spot with Creator that's right for us. I'm feeling relaxed and calm, Alleluia Elohim. I just want you to imagine now, Lord Mikhailzadek, in front of you, holding the key. As we step into the key energy, Alleluia Elohim, with Creator where we can create the most wonderful experiences. Ish, hallelujah. Just taking a moment now to take a deep breath. Knowing that you're sitting in the glory of Creator and with Creator.
Knowing we have the ability to heal, Alleluia Elohim, to move forward in marvelous and beautiful ways with the support of the divine, Ish Is As Uspikiata, Ish Is Alaka, Alleluia. Free from worry and conflict. And in this moment now, knowing you're protected, safe, and surrounded by the divine, Alleluia. As we go to our heart, Ish Iskiata, Alleluia. And in our heart, our heart knows. Ish pikiata viati pikiut vilaishi de pikiata ish tia voi viati adia dia di voi di vilakaish. Knowing that your heart is connected to Creator in this life. And that Creator is connected to you through your heart. Ish is pikiata is 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 is. As you remember your connection to the divine through your heart, your connection to living your best life, Ish is Alleluia. As we give thoughts that no longer serve, in this moment now, Ish is too. Ipikiatu, Ispiatu, Ish Alleluia. As we give worries and stresses that Creator knows, that need to change. We give them to Creator now, Ish Pikiai Alleluia. Hallelujah, Elohim. As Creator gifts you now, a beautiful ball of energy and light that you sit in, Ishpikiata, Alleluia, to remember, Ishkia, your glory, your light, your beauty your presence as you come from creator your presence with creator is one ish is as ah to feel the kai elohim as that presence travels down to your seat where you're sitting and it expands through your fingers and toes Ishkidiata, Kididiata, your divine energy is Pikiata, your glory, your light. As you feel that energy and sit with the divine that you are. Now we're taking a deep breath now. As you release old energy, Ish Pikiata, Alleluia Elohim. And you receive a glimpse of what would aid you to live your best life right now. Ikiata, Alleluia Elohim. And let your mind. Clear, Ishkiata, Alleluia. And let your body relax, Isha, Alleluia, Elohim. As you and the Divine are one, Ishkiata, Ispiata. And in Creator's presence now, send a prayer, Ishkiata, I Alleluia, Elohim, of your heart. From your heart, Ikiapatu Ish Ispikai. 
This creator hears your heart and knows your heart. In every moment, as you are one, Ipikia, Alleluia, Elohim. Taking a deep breath, Ishki Pitiki Kediata, Dish is as Ust, Alleluia. As you feel deeply relaxed, Ishiata, Tutupidiata, Ish as Is. As you sit in Creator's presence without interruption or worries or fears. As you feel calm, and content, and know that you are protected now by the divine, taking a deep breath, we're coming slowly back to the white space up in the universe, just stepping out of the key energy, still relaxed, calm, taking deep breaths, ish, 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 knowing the presence of Creator is with you now and always. Alleluia Elohim. Ish, see, atatiata, alleluia. You are blessed. The creator knows your heart. Ish, ish, us. And what you need for your best life is, is us. Alleluia. And as you sit in that white place where we began, we're going to come back down. When you're ready, taking a moment here. As light comes through, your presence shines as divine you are. Alleluia. And slowly, just want you all to come down through the universe. Start coming down slowly and peacefully. Knowing creators with you now and forever, filled with the presence of Creator as you are Creator, Ish, Is, Us, Alleluia, Elohim, with the remembrance of your Divine Self, coming down to your head, I'm going to take that lovely light now down through the universe, Alleluia, Elohim, down and down to your feet, ish as us. I'm going to take that beautiful light down through new earth, bright earth, gold and platinum earth. Where we ground back, Alleluia. Taking that light up again to your feet. As you take a deep breath up through the body, Taking a moment now to wiggle and begin to come back, Ali Elohim. Keeping your eyes shut as you breathe and know. Remember that you are one with the Creator. In the presence of Creator and having the presence of Creator as you create, is, is us your best life. You feel your hearts expand and lifted in peace and love. Ish is us Elohim. As we ground you back with warmth, love, ash us and protection, hallelujah.
and presence and love. And when you're ready, you can just open your eyes and you yeah. feel grounded back to here and now. I'm just yawning through the whole thing. Oh my goodness. I'm still have like, my eyes are watery. Oh, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm still yawning. Um, how is that for everybody else? How are you all doing? Breathe. <laughs> yes. Um, I can't always talk when I come back from things like this, but yeah. Just coming back, releasing old energies and uh, bringing in our presence. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Linda says, thank you. Much light. Oh, lovely. That was absolutely lovely. Thank you, Cindy says. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. I, I could, like, fall asleep. Oh, uh, bless you. I'm relaxed. So <laughs> relaxed. I could just, like, yeah, go to sleep Let's right see. now. Yeah, lovely to feel that energy and feel yeah. yourself relax and important to take that time out for ourselves in our day as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah so definitely drink some water. Um, and at the same time, also just enjoy the space that you're in, right? So yeah. Deborah says yeah. very peaceful and relaxing. So enjoy that peacefulness. Enjoy that relaxing relaxing. Yeah, space feeling. and state. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't talk. Uh, Suzanne says, thank you so much. You talked calming. That was that was doing so well. Oh, good. You, yeah, you talked uh, very calmly. Yes, that's for sure. <clears throat> awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Woo. Any other last words of wisdom for us today, Sarah? Yeah. Just remember to keep uh, it simple. Keep focused on your heart and what what you your desires are for right now um and yeah don't get too saddled in the past or what you ought to be doing keep it real and keep it here and keep it now and remember that you're our divine and creators here with you uh knowing what your heart needs um and keep thanking creator for bringing your heart needs to you mm -hmm. yeah beautiful thank you yeah and um yeah, we, we, we all have goals and plans, absolutely, but don't forget the present moment, right? And absolutely. so what can you, <clears throat> how can your life be the best life right now, right? Absolutely. Not just six weeks, two months, five years, but right now. Right um, now. Yeah, it, that's important. That's going to help you to actually get that five-year goal at some point, you know, whatever that happens to be. So you have to be happy relaxed content living your best life right now right now. as well yeah yeah i love yeah. that thank you yeah uh <clears throat> yeah well, i love it yeah i still can't talk but that, that was no, great that's thank all right you. yeah <laughs> I, I think one last word of wisdom is about the vision boards which we have discussed but the center bit should be about your best life now it's not uh taking away from if you know you want to put uh different aspects bigger things around the edge but it's about the center mm -hmm. should be forever changing uh, about what you re need uh right now so uh basically changing to your needs of your best life yeah what, what you yeah. need in the moment but at least on a daily or a weekly basis what a do you week, need now yeah, about weekly yeah 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 just yeah reviewing like it Exactly. So focusing on it week to week, what do you need right now? Right. And that's going to tell you what to focus on, at least, you know, and, and making yourself a priority. A good thing to be put on there, they're telling me for everyone is like, what would light up your life as well? One little thing. So it could be even a light bulb to give thanks to things that light up your life, because that's what we really want from our 
human experience is is to yeah. have things that light up our life and make absolutely. it absolutely yeah yes so. absolutely I love that yeah ah. yeah thank you thank you thank you and if you'd like to work with Sarah <clears throat> more you can check out the packages package A and package B which include the special uh, bonus workshop about learning to heal yourself in the Akashic Records. So please do take advantage of those opportunities as well. Yeah, right. absolutely. Good. Wonderful. Uh, Galaxy J3 said, oh, it was so beautiful and so powerful. The energy was so lovely that made my heart sing again. Oh, my oh, head is still lovely. buzzing. Oh, good. <laughs> Marvelous. So allow that, that the, the buzzing in your head to expand through your whole being and, you know, your whole space. Yeah. Yeah, I love yeah. that galaxy. Thank you, Arietta. Yeah, <laughs> good. Uh, I was I was gonna ask who is Galaxy. It's Arietta. Awesome. Oh, uh, hi Arietta. <laughs> hi, bless you. Good. Uh, Cindy says thank you for these beautiful messages of wisdom. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Good. Uh, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, everyone. Just before you go, uh, we do have a show tomorrow, but tomorrow is at 10 a.m. Eastern. OK, so tomorrow it's 10 a.m. Eastern. Just letting you all know ahead of time. Um, and again, thank you so much, Sarah. This was wonderful. And the Internet was great. We it was. No see, upstairs <laughs> answers the call. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. Uh, yeah. Wonderful. Good. Awesome. Yeah. And thank you so much, everybody, for all your questions, comments, feedback. I think we got everybody. I'm not sure. But thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, yeah, live your best life. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Start, to start today. Start with right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> it's been wonderful, right. Laura. Thanks ever so much. And uh, uh, much love you. to you. Thank yep. you, thank you. All right, everyone. Um, until next time, may continue to be blessed with an abundance of joy, peace, love, happiness, prosperity, and radiant health. Sending you all much love and blessings always. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.